Hello guys, girls, and others. Today I'm going to show you how to get Google Now on your iOS device. This hack will work with iPod Touch, iPad, and iPhone running iOS 6.0 or later. I'm currently using an iPhone 5 with 6.1 using the Evasion Jailbreak version 1.2. For those of you who don't know what Google Now is, Google Now is a uh, is just like uh, Apple's Siri. It's just Google's version that they use for Android's phones. Um, it, to me, is better, much better than Apple Siri. It's quicker, uh, more relevant uh, searches, more listings. Um, it's just, it's just better to me. Um, there are limitations to using Google Now on the iOS device. Apple Siri is actually integrated into. The iPhone so there's things that it can do such as uh, start music open applications it can uh, take dictation in applications those things the Google now cannot do because obviously it doesn't have access to uh, that part of the device but there are things that it excels at such as searching since we have Google Maps on um, our devices now um, it's available for iOS, we can actually ask for directions with Google Now. So if you say navigate to a specific place, it'll open up a browser window with the directions. When you uh, click to navigate, it'll actually give you the option to open up Google Maps on your iPhone. So you can use it to navigate, you can use it to uh, locate Chinese food restaurants in your area, whatever have you, uh, just like you would uh, with Google Maps on the computer. So that's just a little synopsis of what Google Now is and what it can do. There are three apps that you need to download. The first one being the Google app, because that's the app that has the Google Now built into it. You get that one from the actual official Apple App Store. The other two we will get from Cydia called Activator and Active Voice. Activator assigns gestures to apps. So if you would like to swipe to open your Messages app, instead of actually going to the uh, home screen and clicking on it, you can use Activator for that. Active Voice um, is the other package we're going to download. What Active Voice does is it uh, signs a certain section in Activator in order to link you directly to the voice feature in Google Now. Instead of just putting up the app and you having to actually click the mic for it to come up, it's a shortcut that actually brings up the uh, Google Now interface so that you can just start typing after you do your gesture. So the first thing that we're going to download is a uh, Google search app. We're going to go to the Apple App Store. We're going to type in Google search and click search. And it should be the first one. What you do is you go and you click install. Mine says open because I already have it on my device. Once you click install and install it, it'll show up on your uh, home screen. Like so. And this is what is going to come up. So if you look right here, you can see at the bottom it has different things. It has Google Apps where you can get a list of all the Google Apps that they have. If you click on it, if you have these apps installed on your phone, it'll open it up. You can also look at the web apps, the ones that you don't have on the phone that will uh, open up in a browser. The second thing is goggles. What you do with goggles is um, take pictures of things and it will give you information. So for instance, I can uh, go take a picture of the Freedom Tower and it will tell me that it's the Freedom Tower, how many floors, when it was built, who it was built by, all kinds of information. Take a, a picture of a book, for instance. It will um, give you information on about the book. It will give you links to Amazon so that you can buy the book, uh, things like that. The Google Voice is what we are going to... Uh, focus on because that is the actual uh, Google Now. So you see when I press it, it's going to uh, come up with 
the uh, Google Now interface and allow me to ask it whatever I want to ask it. I'm not going to press it right now because I'm going to lose sound if I do. Um, one of the limitations of iOS is that you can have only one application using the sound at um, at a time. So when I activate Google Now, I'm going to lose sound. Later on in the video, I will show you how it works, but I'm just uh, forewarning you that um, I'm going to lose the sound um, before the end of the video. Uh, the other two applications that we are going to install are going to be from Cydia. That is Activator and Active Voice. We're going to do Activator first, so what you do is go to your Cydia, type in Activator. Um, in the top right hand corner, click install. Mine says modify because I already have it installed. Then confirm. A black screen will come up with a whole bunch of words. Once it's done, you just click return to Cydia or with Spring, depending on which one it says, and it'll bring you back to Cydia. Activator does have an icon that will show up on your springboard after it's installed. The next app, Active Voice, which we're going to search for now, does not have any icon. So what you do is go to the top right hand corner, click install and confirm. Once it's installed, then we will go back to our springboard and search for the Activator app. What we're going to do now is assign a gesture to open up the Google Now. So navigate to Activator, and what I'm going to do is assign it a gesture. My gesture is to shake the device at home screen. You guys can choose whatever gesture you want. You can swipe from the status bar, swipe from um, left to right, right to left, from the bottom of the phone, whatever you like. I personally like to use uh, shaking the device at the home screen for this uh, particular tweak. So I would go to at home screen, scroll down to motion, click on shake device, and normally it would have unassigned here. I scroll down to the active voice section, choose voice search under that, and as you can see, the voice search showed up right at the top here. So we're going to go back out and uh, try it out. Uh, one thing I'm going to warn you before I try it out is I'm going to lose sound, like I said before. I'm going to do a uh, couple of searches, um, probably two or three, so you can see how uh, fast it comes up, and then I'm going to end the video. So I'm going to tell you guys now, if you like the video, click the like button, share it with your uh, friends, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm going to uh, shake the device now and give you a demonstration. 